Hi guys, welcome back to reading the word and understanding the Bible verse. Today I read Matthew chapter 23 and chapter 24. And what I find interesting or what stood out to me is Matthew 23 verse 25 and 26. And this is Jesus um, talking. This is Jesus talking. It says, Woe to you teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You clean the outside of the cup and the dish, but the inside is filled of greed and self-indulgence. Blind Pharisees first clean the inside of the cup and dish, and then only, and then the outside also will be clean. So, what I love about this so much is Jesus is telling the Pharisees and the teachers of the law who don't understand when you accept Jesus Christ in your heart, your heart is supposed to get changed. You, you, the way you think gets changed. Why? Because Christ comes inside of you and lives inside of you. And from the overflow of your heart, the mouth will speak. The difference is, is you will start walking more like Christ. But the only way you're going to understand this, and the only way you're going to know it, is by reading the Bible and growing that personal relationship with Jesus. So, just because... You think going to church is good and everything's great going to church once a week. It's not where you go to church once a week. It's not how you, it's not where you think you could perform really good for an hour to two hours and that's going to save you. That's not what Jesus is talking about here. He's talking about the reason why Jesus is picking on the Pharisees and teachers of law is because that's how they think. They think, okay, I can go to church for a week, and then the rest of the the rest of the time, I can live in a sinful world and not change my ways. That's not what God's telling us here. Jesus is telling us, don't be like the Pharisees and teachers of law. He's telling us, do change your heart. When you accept Jesus Christ, your heart gets changed. You're no longer that same evil person anymore because Christ lives inside of you. And your heart becomes clean. And when your heart becomes clean, your body becomes clean. And that's exactly what he's talking about. He's talking about clean your inside first. Take care of your inside of your body. And your outside will be clean. The Pharisees and teachers of the law, they see it opposite. They see it, oh, let people see us glorify and let people let us be shined. That's not how Christ wants us to be. He doesn't want us, the people, to look at us and say, Oh, look at him. We have to be like him. No. We have to be different. And the only way we can be different is by Christ coming into us, changing our life, and accepting him as your Lord and Savior. That's where your heart becomes clean, changed, and you start becoming different. And growing a personal relationship with Christ, opening up your Bible and understanding it, that's what's the ultimate goal. Is that's what it is. It's read your Bible daily. That's why it's so important to grow with God daily on a personal level. So I pray this helps you guys today. I pray this helps you and opens up your heart and do understand what's going on here. So I pray that you guys have a good day, blessed day. Love you guys and God bless. Hi guys, welcome back to reading the word and understanding the Bible verse. Today I read Matthew chapter 23. In chapter 24 and um, this is the first time in chapter 24 where I'm going to have to talk about um, two different things in chapter 24 so in chapter 24 starting on verse 1 all the way through chapter all the way through verse 35 um, this is the disciples asked Jesus privately on the Mount of Olives what would be the sign of you coming of the end of age? And Jesus talks about um, the first thing I find interesting. It's verse 9. It says, Then you will be handed over to the persecutes and be put, you persecute and be put to death. And you will be hated by all nations because of me. So when we preach the word of God, we have to understand that. Right now, we're not living in that time where all nations are hating us preaching the word of God. 
it may seem like that, but the way the Bible describes it, we're not living there yet. We're not living where uh, there's nation against nation, there's war, there's um, kingdom against kingdom, wars, there's famine, there's earthquakes, um, there's rumors of, of wars. We're not living in that time yet. It may seem like it, we're, we're getting closer, but we're not in that time yet where Christ is coming, which seems like every day it seems like the world's getting more evil, which it is, but we have to still have that faith in Christ that be strong in him because when he does come, we have to be alert and we have to be ready because also in Matthew 24, what stands out to me so strongly and which something I love so much, which is Matthew twenty four thirty one, And it says, And he will send his angels a loud trumpet call, and then he, and then they will gather the elect from the four winds from one end of the heavens to the other. So what I love about this so much is that the trumpet sounds. So we would hear the trumpets from heaven, and that is when tombs are going to open up. That is when you have, will have one person who will be in the field, and then you have another person who's going to be staying on earth. So there's going to be one person going to heaven and one person working on the field. And that's what I love about this so much, is that I always love hearing those trumpets. Every day I ask, is today the day that I'm going to hear those beautiful trumpets? It's going to be an awesome day because I know that that's when everybody on earth who accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior will be going to heaven. And that awesome sound of those trumpets is going to be amazing. And it's going to be an awesome time. Because that's when we finally get to go to heaven and see G- and get that hug from Jesus. And it's going to be really cool. But that's what's so awesome about this. If you don't read your Bible and don't understand this, you're not going to grow in knowledge. You can't count on like the Pharisees and the teachers of law back in that time. You can't count on them being able to help you to go to the kingdom of heaven. It's you yourself who has to rely and build up on that. The only way you could build up on that is by reading the word and growing closer to God daily. Accepting him to your life, into your heart, and changing your ways. Getting rid of your evil desires inside of you and getting rid of that. That only comes through when Christ lives inside of your heart and changes you from the inside out. And that's what he's trying to teach us here is that that's the only way to understand the Bible is to grow with Jesus. Have that personal relationship with Christ. So I pray this helps you guys today. Pray that you guys have a good day, blessed day. Love you guys and God bless. Hi guys, welcome back to reading the word and understanding the Bible verse. Today I read Matthew chapter 23 and chapter 24. And what I find interesting is in chapter 24, this is uh, part 2. This is verse 26. All the way through verse 51. And what stood out to me the most is when Jesus is talking about the thief at the night when he comes and robs your house. If you know when a thief is coming, you wouldn't leave your house. You would come protect your house. So, in verse 44, it says, So you must also be ready, because the Son of Man will be coming at the hour when you least, when you do not expect it, or expect him. So, I find this interesting because we have to be prepared and ready to do not only God's will on heaven, I mean in earth, and walking God's ways, but we also have to be prepared and be ready when Jesus comes and gets us. So that means growing daily in your Bible, building a personal relationship with, with Christ. But also what I find interesting is verse 45 through 51 is Jesus goes all the way back to the time of Noah. And he says, like Noah was prepared, he was building the house. I mean, he was building the ark for 
his family, and for the animals. But just like in Noah's days, people were eating, drinking, they were getting married, and they did not know the time of the hour when rain was going to come down and fall from heaven for the first time on this earth. As soon as they recognized that Noah was right, it was too late. God already shut that door, and all those people got swept up. All those people died. Think about the earth being filled and then all those people being died because they didn't trust, they didn't believe in Noah. They made fun of Noah back in the day for building an ark. They're like, there's no such thing as rain. What do you think you're doing? But Noah had faith in God to be able to like, no, I'm going to continue building the ark because there is going to be a flood. Noah did not know the time and date of when the flood was going to happen or when rain was going to happen. All Noah had faith in the Lord is to keep on building the ark until it was finished. That's same with us. Is we have to have that same faith and that same trust. Is we do not know when Christ is coming, but when He does come, you have to have that faith that you will be ready to go to heaven. And that's the cool thing about this is that we're not living in the times of Noah yet. We're not close. We think we are, but we're, we're not close yet. So think about that today as you go on and open up the Bible and read it. That it's important to understand that ask God to open up your eyes to understand what you're reading. Because that's when you're going to really soak in the value and understand it and go inside your heart. So I pray this helps you guys today. Pray that you guys have a good day, blessed day, love you guys, and God bless.